to pay at the Ratatiki. And he'll also don't have to pay for punching you in the face for how much of a little sneak you are. Hello there, all of you possum people. It's me, Grindpin, here. Welcome back to our Woods 101 Balance Walkthrough. Now, first off, did you guys like that new intro? I bet you did. Um... I wanted to change up my channel a bit since I'm kind of going to be turning into adult this year. So, <laughs> um, we're heading into Imperia this episode, which is awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to Imperia, so it's going to be great. I'm going to love it. I, I really want to see what things I've missed in Imperia. And and pretty much, I wanted to explain my thoughts on it while while we're going through part one together. Ah, oh, there you are. It's time you learned a lesson about being thorough and following through with your responsibilities. Initiate. You heard correctly. You never signed your Arcanum rank promotion paperwork, so you're not officially an understudy yet. So here, sign. Done? Congratulations, blah blah. While we're on the subject of thoroughness, I hear you failed to submit your full post-Mirage report. Whatever you did in Mirage, you managed to pull several of the scholars' noses out of their books and get them all worked up about something. Old Baba Yaga's been ranting and raving even more than usual. I think she's even been crying. <laughs> yes, you should probably check on him. Yeah, Baba Yaga's pretty much okay. I will, I will do the legendary tomfoolery when. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, Baba Yaga's been crying about Malori and where she went off to. We have to hurry, Malori. <laughs> we have to save her. You have to save her. Grandmother Raven entrusted her to me, and I raised her like my own. I did my best, but she wanted to be a heroic wizard, like you. Imperia. That's where Spider's taken my sweet Malori. But Ioni and some of the other scholars have a plan to rescue her. Please, after everything you've done, don't be cravenly now. The stakes are <laughs> too high. Go ask Ioni how you can help. Okay, so if you guys don't know Imperia, Imperia is home to Ioni Vergas, uh, Verga, and um, Ignis Ferric. I think, Ignis. <laughs> Because Ignis is a fire elf. Well, fire. fire dwarf, actually. And I thought Ignis was from Avalon, <laughs> apparently. Understudy, at last. Your exploits in Mirage, while impressive, have resulted in a situation we at the Arcanum find concerning. In an unprecedented occurrence, several scholars have paused their studies and convened to address Spider's increasing threat to the Spiral. We've learned that Grandfather Spider aims to recover his Chaos Heart, and that he plans to use Malori in some way to do so. If the Chaos Heart is removed from its bonds in Imperia, it will unravel the very fabric of existence, needless to say. That would be bad. The Committee of Scholars has determined a mission to Imperia is required, and that you should lead it. Do you accept this responsibility? Good. Head to the Dry Docks. Immediately. The Committee of Scholars will brief you on the mission. I will join you all momentarily. Okay. Needless to say, I think I really like Ioni, because she's like, she's like very calm about everything. She's like, like very, very calm. Also, I have no idea what pictures of these are. I'm guessing these are Imperia as well, but somewhere different.
but I have no idea which part of Imperia this is. I'm guessing this is for part two. Or something. Because this does not look like Xanadu. <laughs> What was that ice scholar's name? What's his name? I remember he was a he was a moose. Uh a moose or an elk. I'll find out his name once I get to the dredge dog. Okay, oh, it's not it's not in here. Okay. It's it's in here. Right. <laughs> As you enter the cavernous dry docks, your senses are assaulted by the smell of dust and the palpable anxiety of the busy scholars. But your eyes are quickly drawn to the extraordinary ship moored close by. You get the sense you've seen it before. Impressive, is she not? It is hard not to admire Kabbalist aesthetics, even if their intergalactic navigational systems are less than stellar. Oh yeah, and this spark. And you ain't gonna get those systems updated with weak puns. Get back to work, bub. Ignis and I will be there to help in a minute. Okay, Tarek. All right. As for you, understudy, now's not the best time to chat, unless you're here about the Imperia mission. We are, we are, we are. <laughs> You're joining the mission? Great! Though I feel the need to warn you, Imperia ain't exactly a toboggan ride down the hill. Raven created Imperia specifically to keep Spider out. As such, travel and communications with Imperia are exceedingly difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. Raven shrouded Imperia in a magical storm called the Aether, which shields the Chaos Heart from Spider. It even keeps Raven herself out. Unfortunately, the Aether doesn't seem to be a deterrent to the Simi Divine, like Spider's children. Recently, Ioni received a jumbled message from the Empyrean city of Xanadu that leads us to suspect Spider's son, the Bat, is there. Then, one of our adjunct scholars decided he'd take it upon himself to go investigate, so he borrowed Spark's stream portal prototype. Aye, and no one's heard from poor Medulla since. Oh, tis a right shame that he seemed like a bright enough fellow, if not a wee bit impetuous. Oh, Medulla. <laughs> yeah, Medulla's a pity the butt. Precisely why we are being extra meticulous now. There is no room for error with this mission. Oh, hello there, Ioni. We were just briefing the understudy on the particulars of the mission to Imperium. And you're just in time to tell them all about the ship. Come on, Ignis. Spark needs our help. Very well. Come, understudy. Okay. Since the Arcanum's last voyage to Imperia resulted in depressing failure, a more reliable mode of transportation has become priority one. Thus, the great skyship you see before you. It's called the Spiral Arc. Does it look familiar to you? It should. Perhaps you recall seeing it referenced when you read The History of the Great Schism. Those who would become the Cabal built it as a lifeboat to usher them through the violent end of the spiral that they believed inevitable. After the Schism, the Spiral Arc was forgotten until a young man with an incorrigible interest in technology found it here collecting dust. As fate would have it, that young man named Spark hails from Imperia and has dedicated his life to solving the enigma of Imperian travel. And despite my many objections, he has volunteered to accompany you on this mission. He is also my brother, but that is inconsequential. <laughs> he is also my brother. <laughs> you and Spark should become acquainted. Here, give him this eye on dust he requested and lend him any further aid he may require. Okay. The question is, where the heck did you get the ion dust? <laughs> okay, so when I first saw this ship, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And <laughs> I 
I'm just like really excited to, and I was just like really excited to see what Imperia had for me. <laughs> there we are. The homemade world door is secured and ready for transport. You sure we shouldn't test it first? This world door will serve as the initial stream portal link and what I hope will eventually become an Empyrean wide teleportation network. Ah. Kinda like how a lead climber does that first free climb to install the guide rope, so everyone else can use it to scale the mountain. I suppose so, yes. Just gotta get that first anchor point down, right? Oh, hey there, understudy. Excuse me, I need to check the status of the hull. Greetings, understudy. I am pleased that we may finally be formally introduced. I am called Spark. It is my honor to serve as your science officer for this mission. Hmm. Do I detect the invigorating smell of ion dust? Excellent. Come, I will show you what the ion dust is for. And along the way, I can show you around the spiral arc. Please, follow me. Okay. Spark is like our... Our little this network guy. This is guide. the arc's main machine room, which I have retrofitted with a sublight stream drive engine. Ignis is smoke testing the stream drive now. Spark me, boy. Your engine sure is impressive, but I can't seem to get her to spool up to maximum warp. Have you tried increasing the aperture of the fission intake? I've given her all she's got. I just can't do it. I need more power. Intriguing. It will take some time for me to properly diagnose the issue. I trust you'll figure it out, Spark. Now, if that's all, I've another mission-related task I need to tend to. Yes, of course. Thank you for your assistance, Ignis. Understudy, we should make haste with the tour. Okay. These stately doors lead to these surprisingly spacious living quarters. Say what you will about the Cabal, the ensuite lavatories are far more comfortable than those here in the Arcanum. Uh, moving on. And I really want to see what's inside the living quarters. Come on, why would you let me in the goddamn living quarters? This is the emergency escape pod bay. The pods are superfluous to our mission, but removing them all would require too much effort. Yeah, the escape pods like are for Xanadu, all this stuff like that. I'm guessing there's like, okay, okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm guessing there's like 10 places in Imperia in total, but... Here we find the heart of my intra-ethereal navigational guidance system, the Lux Capacitor. It uses quantum photon superpositioning to breach nanospace, allowing the arc to travel through the stormy ether subatomically. Its design came to me after I slipped and hit my head in the aforementioned cramped Arcanum Lavatory. Shall we continue to the bridge? Oh, I found this thing while I hit my head somewhere. Oh god. <laughs> we 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 should continue. <laughs> Our tour comes to its conclusion here on the bridge. There under the main viewer is the cyclolabe. It will help us plot courses through the ether, a storm compass, as it were. And we will end the tour with the one detail technology cannot update, the captain's chair, rather the person in it. Without a sky captain experienced in ethereal travel, the chair and this mission are utterly futile. Fortunately, the scholars have this issue mostly figured out. It would be prudent for you to check on that. I really should get back to work. Okay. So pretty much all this, the ship, I think this is a reference to Star Trek. Because <laughs> like Imperia, it's it's not just like a mysterious kind of storm void world, but it's pretty much like a reference to to all these different movies, these different plays, all this sort of stuff. And I find that very, very clever. And I started to figure that out when I w uh, when um when we were when we were first finding Nightwing back in Xanadu. Um, cause like Nightwing's like a hero from, from one of the Batman stuff. <laughs> and I was thinking, hey, is this a reference to Batman? <laughs> About time. 
we should have told Spark to skip the lavatory tour. Listen up, we need to discuss the recruitment of the Sky Captain. Okay. Uh, S in town. Shut up. The mission requires a Sky Captain with experience in Imperia. I'm sure we don't need to explain how limited that selection is. <laughs> There is only one such person known to us scholars, a wharf rat of dubious reputation, by the name of Captain Taylor Coleridge. You remember him, right? As we understand it, you and old Coleridge, er, uh, Coleridge met in Chrysalis a while back. And we're hoping that relationship will help recruit Coleridge to this mission. He's not my first choice, but he'll have to do. Our intelligence has tracked him to Polaris. I'll mark the location on your map. Captain Cool Ranch is essential to the mission. Whatever it takes to convince him to help, you do it. Whatever it takes. Captain Cool Ranch. All right, no good. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, so we're heading back to Polaris to find Taylor Coleridge. AKA the main person who it's their fault that Spider is released in the first place. Okay, Claris, 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 Claris. There. <laughs> arrives in our time of need. The crooked inspectors are harassing my husband in the stockroom. Help him. Okay, I need to check my deck, see what spells there are. Hold on, wrong button. Okay. Alright, I think I should be good. Given you multiple warnings, Coleridge, yet we continue to receive reports of rats in this establishment. Clean up or pay up. Ye feather brain fish flingers wouldn't know a rat if it were standing right in front of ye. We ain't bribing ye without a fight, yeah. Was that a threat? According to Law 41, Stroke 861B, threatening a city official is a capital offense. Prepare to be punished. Who are you? Wizard, how ya been? What brings you? Actually, what do you say ye help me swap this scum out of me stockroom? Then we catches up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be tough because. Oh boy!
Okay, I'm gonna use Shadow Strike. And hopefully I can get a Shadow Pip next round. Apparently not. <laughs> okay. Oh god. You can't- I swear to god, I hate this guy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this really quick. <laughs> there. Yeah, there we go. Now that is how you use a shadow spell. Oh, fuck off. That didn't hurt. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, there we go.
Oh god, critical. Block it, block it, block it, dang it. Okay, I just hope the minions are gone. <laughs> I'm hoping for that to happen pretty well. <laughs> okay, and we're back. It took me like around four or five tries to try to do this solo, but I just realized someone was using team up, so. Eh. <laughs> Whoa. I should get a power pip next round because I'm probably gonna save her two. Nope. <laughs> I need a saber tooth. I want a saber tooth. Gonna get rid of this real quick. There we go. <laughs> Why am I not getting a second power pip? What is this? What is this black magic? Okay, something is up with my spell deck. Okay, he's done for. I did not know you were friends with the hero of Baldur's Quirk. Perhaps I was a bit uh, uh, overzealous. Upon further inspection, I officially declare this establishment healthcare compliant. Au revoir! Thank the 70 seas ye wandered in when ye did all friend. Come, let me pour you a tasty tiki drink on the house. Okay, hey, what did I get? Mage's Hardy Band. Got mutate bats. All right. No, no, no. What happened? The vile inspectors, they ran away so fast. Was this coffee a crime? <laughs> And all who heard should see them there, and all should cry, Beware! Beware! The crooked inspectors won't be bothering us anymore, me love. C'est magnifique! The hero of Walrisburg strikes again! I will pour for you our most popular drink, a poisson colada! <laughs> Sounds as though we've both led exciting lives since we parted last. Come, let us swap stories over tropical-themed novelty beverages. 
What's that? You didn't come here for a tasty tiki drink? You want me to captain a skyship to Imperia? Absolutely not. The fate of the spiral is at stake. Hmm. Answer still no. Sorry, I'm done sailing. I am a small business owner now and a husband. Besides, even if I wanted to help, which I don't, I wouldn't be of much assistance to ye. The exploits in Imperia came purely by accident. We happened upon Imperia because <clears throat> I could lost searching for the Storm Gate to El Dorado. We only made it out thanks to a child's lucky guesses. At least that's what they told me happened. I was knocked unconscious in a shipwreck. Woke up days later docked at some strange library. The navigator from that fateful journey was really the one most responsible for piloting the ship the entire time. Hmm. That navigator is actually a sky captain in his own right now, and an adventurous one at that. He goes by the name of Captain James T. Bork. As it happens, he and his crew passed through here but a few days ago. They were heading to Azteca. Said something about an asteroid. If you tell Pork there's glory to be had, he'll join your cause. No matter how perilous the journey, look for him in the Zocalo. Oh, and if you happen to run into our dear friend Old Cobb, do send him this way. Tell him he'll never have to pay at the Rada Tiki. And he'll also don't have to pay for punching you in the face for how much of a little sneak you are. Okay, next up is Zocalo, or Azteca. <laughs> okay, whoa, Fall well, Mama, all right. There we go. I really miss Azteca before it ended. <laughs> Or do you just dress like one? You are? Great. Whatever powerful wizard stuff you're up to is gonna have to wait. My captain needs your help. Follow me. Okay. Here's where the frenzied she-beasts captured him. I'm no good in a fight, but I'll do what I can. We just gotta hurry. Okay, so Beans is a medic. Um, he's pretty much like an assistant to Pork. And no one's seen enough of this. <laughs> It'd be funny if we saw that ice wizard again. Okay. 
here. Beans, my trusted companion. I knew you'd bring help. Get me out of here before these morosely magnificent priestesses sacrifice me. The one with the soulful eyes and the flawless, scaly skin has the key to the cage. Careful, she bites. Only the worthy may enter the shrine to the crying sky. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Raw. Because that didn't do me any good. <laughs> I miss this battle music so much. I love it. Okay, balance blade it up again. Oh, good boy. Now, hopefully, by any chance, just gonna use this real quick. I, I can't. Um, hey, I need this. Uh, I, I don't think this is the right one. <laughs> Next round should probably be Shadow Pip. Come on. You know you want to give me a Shadow Pip. Come on. There we go. This is. The game's been so good to me this time. <laughs> Sky. Here's the key to the cage. Just promise you'll take the big man far away. Oh, don't pretend you won't miss me. Beans, you heard the lovely lady. Let me out of this cage. We've got places to go. 
Darn it, James, I'm a doctor, not a locksmith. Wizard, would you be so kind as to use the priestess's key to let Captain Pork out of his pen? Okay, so I was kind of wrong. Uh, Beans is a doctor, not a, not a medic. Freedom at last. I warned you, Captivating Captus, that my crew would come for me. There will be no sacrifice this day. What? We never planned to sacrifice you. We locked you up to keep you out of our personal space while we prayed. And that only caused you more grief, didn't it? Beans, new wizard friend. Let's leave these gals to their prayers. Okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I really miss the Azteca music. It makes me so, like, giddy. <laughs> when this music is playing, it's just like, I get it. The world's ended. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, wizard. Your timing is impeccable. The name is James T. Pork, captain of the sky ship Endeavor. Charmed, I'm sure. I assume you're already acquainted with my chief medical officer here. I don't know where Beans found you, but I'm glad he did. Thank you both. It was more like the wizard found me. They just dropped everything and ran headlong into battle without flinching. Impressive. I could use someone like that on my crew. Interested, wizard? Hmm, great. First things first, we should probably leave Azteca. Now. But don't worry. A new mission will find its way to us. They always do. What's that? You know of a mission? Imperia, you say? To save the spiral? Hmm. No. My precious endeavor, though a strong ship, will never survive the stormy Empyrean either. What? The Arcanum has a ship. That's different. We're in. <laughs> Beans and I will secure provisions and meet you at the Arcanum. I remember the way. Okay. <laughs> But where's Coleridge? That no good cowardly rat! This makes me unhappy. Extremely unhappy. The spiral is doomed if we don't find an experienced sky captain. Oh, the wizard found you an experienced sky captain, man. Captain James T. Pork, reporting for duty. The doorman Fitzhume showed me in. Nice to meet you. So, you've sailed the stormy Empyrean skies. Actually, he has. And rather deftly, too. My reputation precedes me. You're Nimbari, no? I loved my short time on Numea. Wizard introduced me to your enchanting friends. <sighs> At the, what are you doing? <laughs> what in the world was that? You were like moving all over the place. You were like jumping around. What? That no good cap- Oh, nice to me- Actually- My rep- <sighs> We have met, oh. Quark. My brother and I were aboard Coleridge's ship that you navigated out of Imperia. It was you who delivered us here. Blue girl? All grown up, and what about little blue boy? Have the years here in the Arcanum treated him as well as they have you? Yes. Spark's maturation has made me proud. As he will be the mission science officer, you two should reacquaint yourselves. Understudy, while the crew prepares for takeoff, Velma von Vinkman has requested a word with you in her office before you leave. Okay, and I think this is where we're gonna get that new shadow spell. All right. <laughs> Okay, gonna mark a little location here. There we go. Well, if it isn't my favorite partner in Shadow. 
I know, I should have reached out, but I've been busy chasing shadows. Literally. From what I heard, you've been chasing shadows of your own. You've got quite the grandfather spider situation on your hands, don't you? You'll need to be prepared for whatever spider throws at you next. That's why I've created a cool new shadow spell. The Shadow Trickster. Just collect the essence from the Shadow Trickster that I've corralled in the Shadow Training Room. Then I'll use it to teach you the spell. Oh, this probably goes without saying, but don't trust anything the Trickster says. Just get the Trickster essence and get out. Good luck! Wow, thanks! <laughs> Okay, mark him, uh, going back to the location and mark it again. Yep, it's right here. It's right. It's right. It's right here. Or no, wait. It's right. It's right here. <laughs> Kind and decent. I'm an innocent captive. Please help. Bah. You're not buying any of that, are you? <laughs> Venkman said you were clever, so I'll be straight with you. I could have escaped this rinky dink study hall at any time, but I wanted to meet you. Grandfather Spider will reward me handsomely for bringing you in. He might even let me keep your head as a trophy. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> he's just like so high pitched. He's kind of like anti. And he's just like, <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> Can this have like a different battle theme for the love of God? I mean, I know the Shadow Trick Trickster is dancing along to the music, but <laughs> he literally is! Look at his feet! Look at his feet! <laughs> Look at his tiny little feet! He's like dancing along. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna use Nessie Fury. No. That would just be too much. Okay, and Shadow Strike. There we go. <laughs> Although I may use it just in case. <laughs> Is there like another vengeance here somewhere? Vengeance, yoo-hoo! Nope. There was another piercer, so I'll use that. What in the 
wh what? Okay. God, I forgot about this spell. Oh God, Zeke <laughs> Headless Horseman. This comes out of nowhere. Really, there's no... Okay, apparently there's no more... Vengeance I have. Okay, um, maybe I should... <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get rid of this. There. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? So that's the spell that takes away my pips, all right. You gotta watch out for that. Okay, now there is my vengeance. All right, gonna put that on. Can you not? My God. Okay, 
thank you. Thank you, pet. You're good. You're, you're the one that's good to me. Okay, I need another shadow pit, please. Thank you. Okay, now... Okay. There. There we go. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, he just has like a thousand health left. Okay, come on, power pep, power pep. I need the power pep. Dang it.
There we go. He's gone now. Do what you will with my essence. Grandfather Spider will release me when he destroys you. You and this disgusting spiral. Camp. <laughs> You've got that smug, I just wiped the floor with a shadow trickster look, so I'm guessing your little jaunt was a success. All right, you've got the essence. Now here's the trick with the trickster. Cast this little spell, you take on his form and his skills. Cool. I hope that spell serves you well in Imperia, wizard. I'm glad I was able to teach it to you before you left. The other scholars might not trust me enough to include me in their little committee, but I couldn't just sit back and not offer to help. Well, I guess I should get back to work, and you should get going to Imperia. Oh, and uh, feel free to tell Ioni and the others how helpful I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I already got that spell equipped? Yep, I do. <laughs> okay, I thought I had six in there. I was worried. At last, I, I was becoming anxious. The Ark is fully updated, loaded, and prepped for takeoff. As is the crew. The course is set and we're ready to take our positions. Excellent. Oh, there's just one more thing. Ignis, if you would. Right. I fashioned a special outfit for you, Thunderstun. It should provide at least a wee bit of protection against the Imperium stuff. I made you one too, Spark. Sorry, pork and beans. I only had time for these badges. But hey, at least you're all kind of match now. Thank you, Ignis. Your gift means a great deal to me. I will say a figurative hello to Imperia for you. And for you, sister. Just see to it that the mission succeeds, brother. And try not to die. That would make me sad. At least we'll look the part. Crew, to your positions. Wizard, we'll leave on your mark. The time has come, understudy. Are you quite ready? Good. Remember, aboard the Ark, Pork is in charge. But that authority transfers to you the minute you land in Xanadu. From there, you must locate my contact, Ziggy Stardust. She should be able to help you track down Malori and the Bat. Take care, understudy. Safe journeys. Oh, and watch out for sky squids. Just go. <laughs> She's just like, just go already. <laughs> okay, um. Ooh, does the good fortune thing help? Is the good fortune one better? No, it doesn't have any critical on it. Well, but we're screwed. <laughs> Alright, so the spiral arc is uh, the bridge. Yes, the bridge. Okay. Are we ready? Alright, crew, it's go time. Wizard, 
would you do the honors of initiating the takeoff sequence on the systems console? Okay. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready to see the most epic cutscene ever? All right, here we go. We are all systems go, Captain. Ready for takeoff. Excellent, Mr. Spark. Initiate the photon propellers. Photon propellers initiated, Captain. We have liftoff, sir. Take us out, Mr. Spark. We are clear. All systems nominal, Captain. Shall I spool the stream drive for warp speed? Absolutely. And point us toward Imperia while you're at it. Already done, sir. The stream drive is spooled. Entering warp speed now. Take her in, Spark. Headlong into the storm. <laughs> Listen to this kitten purr. You've built quite an impressive sky ship, Mr. Spark. Quite impressive indeed. Thank you, sir. We are approaching the Empyrean Stormgate in three, two, one. We have breached Empyrean airspace, reducing stream drive to normal speed. Whoa! <laughs> the Empyrean Ether, just as mean and nasty as I remember. Brace for impact! We have sustained catastrophic damage. The shields are failing. There must be something wrong with the Lux capacitor. We're losing altitude. Pull up, man. Pull up. Pull up! Should be fine. Uh, glad you could join us, wizard. Just take it slow. You've been out in the cold for a while now. How do you feel? Can you walk? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Nice and easy. I ran a full diagnostic on you while you were snoozing. The good news is you're gonna be fine. The bad news is you're in Imperia. The ship took a knockout punch to the chin. It's bad, real bad. The jewel inside that cyclo thingy looks even worse. The captain's gone outside to look around and I haven't heard much from Spark. I assume he's okay. Hard to tell if he's concussed or just weird. I've gotta salvage my medical supplies. Can you run down to the hold and see if Spark's all right? He'll wanna know about the cyclo what's it. Answer to your query, I am uninjured. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same of the Ark. The crash was certainly unexpected. The ether storms have intensified since my sister and I were smuggled out of Imperia. I can only speculate that the conflict between Grandmother Raven and Grandfather Spider is somehow amplifying the storms. Most intriguing. The crash damaged the hull beyond repair. The ship will never fly again. We may, however, still be able to use our escape pods to reach Xanadu. I require a working cyclo leave and Lux capacitor to modify a pod. Our capacitor is intact, but apparently our cyclo leave is broken. We cannot leave this island until the storm jewel in the cyclo leave is replaced. Captain Pork is outside. You can help him search for a new one. Okay. <laughs> okay, now before we end this episode, we're gonna take a look outside of Imperia and talk to Pork. Well, we made it to Imperia, but can we make it to Xanadu? The good news is, I know where we are. This is Ariel. We landed here on my last trip with Captain Coolridge. The bad news, it's not a very hospitable place. The jungles inland are very dangerous. Last time we ran into trouble, not all of us made it. You tell me we need to repair the cyclolabe, but first things first, Let's see if the world door we brought made it through the crash. Okay. The world door is working perfectly. 
we can get back to the rest of the spiral. But that doesn't get us any closer to Xanadu. The ether storms wreck ships here all the time. Their windstones might serve as a replacement storm jewel for our broken cyclolabe. Ah, that wall wasn't there when I came here last time. And neither was that village. It looks like some castaways settled down here in the meantime. The castaways may be able to give us a windstone for the cyclolabe. Let's go check out this village and see. Alright, so we're gonna leave this episode here. We're finally in Imperia and look at this place. It's like it's like it's like very stormy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was expecting. And Pork is back with us, so <laughs> that's that's good. Because <laughs> because I love pork. <laughs> but um anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode. There was one one balance walkthrough. If you enjoyed it, why not be a part of some person? My high button, no, I don't know, so.